Hello my dear students, today we are going to learn the chapter of Visit to Cambridge which is written by Firdos Kanga. Students, before we start our chapter, let me ask you, how do you deal with handicapped people? Do you help them? Do you think that they require your love, affection and acceptance? Or you just make fun of their disability? You just criticize them? So this is my question to all of you. Because handicapped people, they require acceptance. Their physical deformity is less painful than the pain that we give to them. Some people might have met with an accident because of which they have lost their legs, arms or any part of their body. Or if they have mental disability, then we should be able to help them. Right? But what we are doing, we are criticizing, which is extremely wrong. And it is not that handicapped people cannot do anything. There are ample of examples where we find they have achieved much more than a normal people can achieve. So let's begin with our lesson, which talks about that deformity cannot stop us. And it is not that success can overcome all the pains. Pain of loneliness, pain of alienation is extremely painful. Therefore, we need to take handicapped people as well in our society. So let's begin and understand this story. But before that, these are the word meanings which you have to write in your copy. And you need to understand at first before writing it. There are two pages for word meanings and uh, these are going to help you out in long writing as well. So please write it and understand before writing. Okay, let's, let me introduce the topic to you all. Here the writer is Firdos Kanga who is a journalist from Mumbai. He is a writer and journalist from Mumbai. He was born with brittle bones. Students, brittle bones means very weak bones, which can be broken very easily. Okay? It is very fragile. Okay? Very fragile, very weak bones he had. He means the writer. Okay? The lesson is a conversation between Firdosh Kanga and Stephen Hawkins. I don't think that I need to introduce who is Stephen Hawkins. Let me show you a picture. See, he is Stephen Hawkins and he is extremely famous. Okay, because he is a great scientist. Alright, so let's see what happens in this story. Stephen Hawkins, one of the greatest scientists of our time, suffered from, from a form of paralysis that confined him to a wheelchair. See, Stephen Hawkins is a handicapped person and the writer as well both of them are physically challenged okay they are also called physically challenged person all right or physically deformed as well so because of his paralysis he had to take help of wheelchair this deformity allowed him to speak only by punching buttons on the computer now he could not speak because of this disability and therefore he had to type many buttons in order to make others understand. It was language through computer. He will type and computer will speak. Okay. So when computer speaks, everybody knows that there won't be emotion. Okay. There are, there is only, uh, there are only words, okay, which can be typed and the computer will read out. But the emotion related to those words cannot be told. Okay, cannot be expressed well, alright. But, sorry, both these men moved around in wheelchairs. Writer and, this, and uh, the scientist, Stephen Hawkins, both of them were on wheelchair. It was during Firdos' visit to Cambridge that they met each other. Here we find 
Stephen Hawkins and Firdaus Kanga met and Firdaus Kanga took interview of Stephen Hawkins. Okay, let's see the theme of this story, children. It talks about disabled or differently abled people and their life. Okay, normal people reaction to disabled. Those who are handicapped, how do we deal with them? I have already spoken about them right now, but this is another theme. How to live life in a wheelchair. Here, we cannot give up. Okay, we cannot surrender to our disability. We should try to overcome it. And... At the last, I will tell you who are handicapped. Those people who are uh, physically handicapped or those people who are not willing to use capability which is given by God. Okay, let's see. Let's see the story. The story begins with him taking a walking tour Cambridge. Tour through Cambridge. The writer was walking and uh, walking in Cambridge and he heard about the scientist. During this tour, his guide mentioned that the famous astrophysicist Stephen Hawkins, Stephen Hawkins lived here, lived there. After his tour, he went to a phone booth to contact him. He was able to talk to Hawkins' assistant and explain to him that he had come all the way from India on a wheelchair. So here... Firdos Kanga had become extremely interested in meeting Stephen Hawkins. Therefore, he made a call to him, okay, with the help of his guide, all right, and then he asked for the appointment. And fortunately, he received it for 30 minutes, okay. The time was from 3.30 to 4. Half an hour was given by Stephen Hawkins' assistant to the writer Firdos Kanga. The writer mentions how people often ask differently abled people to cheer up when it is too difficult. People say that whatever happens, that happens for the best. Okay, And physically disabled people can do anything. It is just about heart and mind. If they are determined, they can do anything. But it is not extremely easy. It is not extremely easy. Right? It is not easy to cheer up in all the condition. He says, he feels the only thing that can make you stronger is seeing someone like you achieve something great. Here the writer says that if somebody sees another person with same ability and disability achieve something, then they get inspired. Okay. In the case of Stephen Hawkins, he was uh, also on wheelchair and the writer as well. So, Stephen Hawkins achieved so much reputation in our world, okay? Therefore, the writer became so much interested in him. Stephen Hawkins told him that he hadn't been brave and this was the only choice he had, although the writer is of a conflicting views. See, here is Stephen Hawkins. Now, here you need to understand that they are in a meeting, okay? That half an hour is being used here. Stephen Hawkins says that it was not an achievement, I had no option, therefore I had to use computer in order to communicate. It is not an achievement, but the writer says no, it is achievement because other people might have given up because of their paralysis. Okay, but Stephen Hawkins stayed, on, stayed with computer and became a scientist. Okay, the author was guilty of making the scientist speak as it took a lot of effort for him to tap on his little watch, sorry, little switch and find words in his computer. I told you that he could not speak, therefore he had to type letters so that computer will read out that and the writer will understand, okay? But for that, he had to type many times so that had hurt the writer because it was all happening because of him, okay, his interview. He was a man with bright mind but his computerized voice made his thoughts come out as frozen phrases. See, there was lack of emotion. Okay. Therefore, he says frozen phrases. There was no emotion in those words. Okay. The computer read out the words which were typed by Stephens. Okay. Sometimes when we become so angry, we say those words. Okay. 
which will have effect because of our emotion emotion of anger okay but here it was not so it was so plain okay stephen mentions that he finds it amusing when people patronize him stephen hawking says that people give him lots of respect why he doesn't understand okay he feels so amused he finds it bit uh, amusing that means bit funny okay that he pet people patronize him he thinks that it is his requirement because he is paralytic he requires computer to communicate but people see it as an achievement the writer then gives a description of hawkins as to how he looks like a three dimensional version of all his photographs in magazines he talks about the writer talks about the appearance of hawkins in the newspapers it shows his popularity okay this magazine star magazine's topic is uh, discussed out here in order to show his popularity that none of the magazines are without his pictures somewhere other other his pictures his achievements uh, his battle with deformity are mentioned and people should get inspiration from him there are people who are perfectly capable of doing different things but they are so lazy they don't use their god gifted brain god gifted body perfectly formed body in bettering our society okay first impression of his appearance is shocking but he is embodiment of inner glow in a man embodiment means representative okay here if you see picture of stephen hawkins you will not find him very handsome okay but there is inner glow inner glow means from inside okay he is a great man because he is able to destroy his deformity okay i i i'm repeating the same word okay like there are people who are perfectly formed but we don't utilize our brain our body in doing something unique okay but here stephen hawkins even after being a handicapped person he became a scientist okay so his capability makes him glow from inside okay he made the author believe in inter, sorry eternal souls and that everything else is just accessory this is so correct okay the external beauty okay our appearance is going to change do you think children that your appearance or my appearance is going to remain like this forever no it is it is universal truth that beauty never lasts physical beauty especially okay physical beauty lasts only for certain time period but eternal soul our heart remains forever the things that we achieve in our life through our good deeds that remains and that makes our soul eternal okay eternal means never ending okay which cannot be destroyed which is immortal okay hawkins thinks there is another good about being disabled but the writer is of the view that it makes you realize the existence of kindness in the world here there are different perspectives okay these are physically handicapped people but still they are talking about kindness okay because they are kind but they don't receive kindness from others especially people who don't achieve anything in their life even after being handicapped they will be neglected okay further upon being asked if he inspires a lot of people makes it any better for stephen he answered that it doesn't see stephen hawkins is on wheelchair he inspired so many people but his life is not changed because he cannot wake up from the wheelchair okay he is on the wheelchair so that is the the thing which he cannot change even though he is successful even though he is very famous okay his pain must be bored by he himself for someone whose body is like a claustrophobic room whose walls are getting narrower day by day it does not make much of a difference see this is what is being repeated which i told you here that the person who is in darkness okay and who knows that their next day is not going to be any brighter it is very difficult for them 
okay the only advice stephen had to offer to differently able people is only to focus on things they are good at here physically impaired or handicapped people should look into themselves they should access assess themselves sorry okay they should assess themselves what is the field in which they can excel all right there are people who are running there are people who are taking part in sports the very good example is of para olympic games where all the handicapped people participate if you have heard the uh, inspirational speech of muniba bai okay muniba madam then you must have known this fact okay if you must have seen sudha chandran's story then you will understand this thing okay that who a, the people who are handicapped they should if they access that where they are good at then their life is going to be a little bit easier okay the half an hour came to an end and it was time for the writer to leave but the scientist made him stay see in the starting of the story we said that half an hour was given to the writer for interview okay so here that half an hour was over but he was not made to leave he offered the writer tea and a tour to his garden he provided hospitality and he took him to his garden his garden was a big as park but stephen covered every inch of it in his wheelchair while the writer dodged himself out of his way here stephen could make a round in his garden okay and the writer remained a bit aloof they did not talk much in the sun they were outside and it was a sunny day so in the sun it was difficult to talk when it was time to leave the author touched his shoulder and wheeled out here when author had to leave he showed kind gesture to the another person that is stephen okay it was a kind gesture because he was touched by the simplicity he was touched by the uh, humanity kindness of stephen hawkins as he looked back he could see an embodiment of his bravest self embodiment i told you representative of bravest courageous brave self okay he saw somebody who was as impaired as he himself but he achieved something okay the one he was moving towards and the one he had believed in for so many years here here he says that the soul moving around okay he was the soul who was moving around without analyzing his capability and there was another one who believed on himself for so many years okay so by believing on himself stephen hawkins achieved so many things but the writer could not achieve as much as stephen's but whatever he has achieved okay he brought in front of the readers and that was his achievement okay there are different achievements of different people so here it was achievement of the writer and there is another level of achievement of stephen's so here we learn that we should not give up easily okay we should fight with the situation and come out with flying colors by solving the problem by destroying the conflict okay so we will keep our lesson here i hope the lesson is clear to you all we will meet in our next video but i will tell you sympathize with handicapped people and don't make your mind be handicap of anything okay feel free and live life to the fullest utilizing all your capabilities thank you children we will meet in our next video take care